Sigmund Freud was born on May 26, 1856 and died on September 23, 1939 from oral cancer to tribute to heavy smoking. Sigmund Freud wrote this speech for Bene, whatever, International. The speech was read for the lounge for the lodge meeting in his absence on his 17th birthday at their national conference on May 26, 1925. Right Honorable Grand President, Honorable President, Dear Brothers, Thank you for the honor you have done me today. You know why I cannot answer in my own voice. You have heard one of my friends and followers speak of the scientific work, but the verdict on these things is difficult to pronounce and perhaps will not be pronounced with any certainty for a long time to come. Permit me to add something to remark of the other speaker, who is also my friend as well as my sedulous physician. I would like to tell you briefly how I became one of the Brennan birth and what I brought among you. In the years following 1895, two strong impressions were made upon me that combined to leave the same effect. On the, on the one hand, I had won my first insight, insight into the depth of the instinctive life of a human being had seen much that was sobering and even frightening on the other hand the communication of my unpleasant discoveries resulted in the loss of what were then the greatest part of my personal relationship it seemed to me i was like a man outlawed shunned by everyone in my isolation the longing arose in me for a circle of chosen high-minded men who regardless of the audacity of what i had done would receive me with friendliness your society was pointed out to me as a place such where such men were to be found that you were jews only suited me that you Jews only suited me the more, for I myself was a Jew, and it always seemed to me, it always seemed to me to be not only shameful but downright senseless to deny it. That which bound me to Judaism, I obliged to admit, to admit it, be as not my faith, nor was it national pride. For I always an unbeliever raised without religion, although not throughout respect for the so-called ethical demands of human civilization. And I always try to suppress nation, nation, nationalistic adore. Whenever I felt an inclination thereto as something pernicious and unjust, frightening, as I was by the warning example of peoples among whom we Jews live, but they're reminded enough, but they're reminded enough other things to make the attraction of Judaism and Jews irresistible. Many dark emotions forces all all the more potent. Uh, all the more potent for being so hard to grasp in the words, as well as the clear consequ consequences, consequences of all inner identity, the intimacy that comes from the same physic structure, psychic structure, and to that was soon added the insight that is that. It was my Jewish nature along that I had to thank for two characteristics that prove in, indispensable to me in my life's difficult course. Because I was a Jew, I found myself free from many prejudice that prejudices prejud, prejudices that hampered others in the use of their intellects. And as a Jew, I was prepared to take my place on the side of the on the side of the opposition and renounce being on good terms with the compact majority and therefore I became one of you and took part in your humanitarian humanitarian and national entrance 
the national entrance, made friends among you, and persuade the few friends remaining to me to join our society. There was no question whatsoever of con of convincing you of my theories, but at a time when no one in Europe listened to me, I had not a single follower, even in Vienna. You granted me your ben benevolent, benevolent attention. You were my first audience. For some two-thirds of the long period of time since my admission, I came to you, gained recreation and stimulation from my intercourse with you. Today, you were kind enough not to approach me for having stayed away from you the last third of this time. My work piled up over my head, the demands connected the the demands connected with it mounted. My day cannot be prolonged enough to permit me to permit me to attend your sessions. My body soon after could not endure the delayed mealtime. And finally, there came years of illness, the illness that today too prevents me from putting an appearance among you. You gaining recreation and stimulation from my in course with you.